Matt, it's obviously been a, a challenging and frustrating week for everybody associated with the club in the aftermath of that result at Tynecastle last weekend. How have you reacted and how do you feel the group have reacted to that? I think as players and managers, you've got to try to put it behind you as quick as possible and, and make sure that we prepare for and get the players upbeat and ready to play the next game. You know, everybody's disappointed leaving the ground and had a weekend because you lost your big rivals. We can understand that, but as a group, we've just got to make sure the focus is on, on the next game. Just overall, what was your summary of the game itself? There was very, very little in it. We obviously didn't create enough, perhaps in the final third, but we fell to a sucker punch a la Motherwell. Well, I think in the games against Hart, there's be very little chances in them. You know, I thought we'd one or two real good chances in the game. You know, and you know Tom's chance at the back post, uh, James Collins was a good chance as well with a chance off a set piece. You know, so in them games there is very, very little happens in front of the goal. They're normally fairly frantic. It wasn't a fantastic game, but no stretch of imagination. But we didn't deserve to lose the game, as far as I'm concerned. You know, we've got to. I agree when, particularly when we play here, we've got to be try a little bit more adventurous and, and seek me open teams up. How do you feel the teams gelling together? Because we have made a lot of changes. It's perhaps not been recognised the the amount of changes to the personnel. Do you feel that it will take a wee bit of time for it to click together? I'm, I'm pleased with the squad. Like I said, if we can maybe add one more wide player too, is what we're trying to do. With Alex and, and Paul being out has given us a little problem in the wide areas as well. And but we wanted to add one in there we, with them fit. Now that they're not fit, you know, we, we'd only be able to add one. So we, we want to try to do that. But. I feel we've got good players in the squad, you know, and it's it's getting them into a system now that that suits them. And um, we've got goal scorers in the squad. Rowan and James are proving and score goals. You know, Liam Craig has scored plenty of goals coming from a mid midfield position. You know, so it's just a matter we've got to keep working on it, and hopefully it will click. Do you feel sometimes in terms of injuries, it, it, when it rains, it pours? First of all, it was fullbacks Clancy and McGiven were both obviously injured at the start of the Europa League campaign. Now it's wingers with Paul Kearney and Alex Harris both uh, ruled out for quite a substantial amount of time. Harris has undergone an operation today. What's happened there? Yeah, he's had a, he's had a small operation today. Just he's chipped a bit of a bone uh, off, so he's got a, that pin back in, and obviously to aid his recovery, you know. So hopefully he'll be he's a young boy, so he should be a quick healer. Paul is, is going to be out for a little while as well. So, like I say, both of them are, are wide attacking options for us that they are missing at the moment. So, that gives us a challenge to be able to try to find different ways and different ways of playing, you know, which we will do. Um, but we've got some good players as well that can come in and fill the role. Obviously, it's still only 180 minutes of the season have passed in the Scottish Premiership. But obviously, a lot of people are um, angry and disappointed at, at what's already happened with the opening two results. With that pain and disappointment, what's your kind of message to the supporters about what you're doing to, to rectify it, to put it right on the pitch? Well, we've lost two games. We've lost both games 1-0. You know, we know the performance has been average, they've been OK. We didn't deserve to lose both games, I didn't think. But sometimes when you're having that little rub of the green and going against you, well, then these things can happen. We've just got to stay focused. We've got to keep working hard. I think there's enough people outside who want to knock us and kick us. You know, We've got to stick together as, as a group, supporters, players, everybody, to try and move the club forward. Just then, looking at Dundee United, obviously we played them uh, last season. We got some decent results, particularly here at, at home. Um, what kind of game are you expecting to see against them? Hopefully, open and we pick up the points at the end of it. You know, they're, they've made a lot of changes to their group as well. You know, so I watched them on Saturday, and um, you know they've got some real good players. They're probably looking to find that formula as well, a bit like ourselves. You know, so hopefully we can. We want to go and take the game to them. We're at home. We've got to go and win the game. That's that's what we've got to try to do. And I'm, I'm sure it will be a good spectacle for our supporters. And just finally, obviously, Lee Griffiths played for Scotland against England. You must have been fairly satisfied seeing that become a reality because at one stage you didn't look as if he would he would ever get capped by the senior side. Yeah, I suppose when you, you, you've you been kicked and knocked, you, you look at something like last night and you see Lee coming up on at Wembley for his country and you think, well, you've played a part in that, you've helped him to get to that level. Most of it's his work and fairness have probably helped him in relation to making sure he's just focused on his, his football and the job in hand. And when you see someone like him who does work tremendously hard, get a reward like last night, well, then it gives you great pleasure as a manager. You can, you know, the results give you the, the best pleasure. But when you see young players develop, and improve and try to find a way to get that ability that they have out of them and, and they bring it on and, and, and get to the level where they got to last night. It was fantastic. Is it good as well, obviously, talking about young players and confidence, Sammy Stanton and Ross Caldwell both obviously play very well for the under-20s in midweek, so they're obviously ready and knocking at the door, aren't they, for a first-team spot, and that must be reassuring for yourself. Yeah, we, you know, we know we've got good young players, you know, like Danny, Ross, Sammy have all had a taste of it, you know, and young Alex has come in, Jordan's come in and played as well, you know, so we've got some good young players. It's getting them into the team at the right time. 
Um, you know, I think Sammy's one with, with Alex missing may give him a little chink to get himself playing a little bit more. You know, we we sent him out on loan last year and he got injured early and that and that knocked him back. But he's come back pre season has been quite good and I think he's one that will force his way into into the team fairly quickly. Can you see him as a, as a natural wide midfielder? Could he offer maybe a temporary solution to that wide position? No, I think position? He, he can. He's he's got that you know dip of the shoulder and change of pace. And I think longer term he might be more central. He's physically starting to grow as well now and he's 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 a technically a very very good player you know but i think he can play in the numerous positions and it gives us different options with him you mentioned obviously at the beginning of the interview pat about the search for a new winger how close are we to perhaps getting something over the line could it happen maybe even before saturday well you just don't know in football we're trying you know we are trying hard obviously with, with the two boys being out injured we've you know we've had to step up that but again sometimes you can make that decision and go on and pick when you think well we, we need to get one because we need one, but we need to get the right one that gives us something different as well. And obviously, we're looking for that type of flair player that will give us a different option in attacking sense. Because obviously, a flair player, Paddy McCourt, but he's already said that longer term he'd be looking to head over to the United States. So, are you looking for somebody that wouldn't just be a stopgap, somebody that could? No, but I think Paddy's, Paddy's situation is, you know, we've, he's been in training and was, you know, we've spoke to him about coming. You know, he knows that's there and that's an option for him. Um, but it's like everything. It's, it's like Kevin last year. He comes in and wants to play, and then you know wants to stay in the end because he enjoyed it so much. So it's important if we can get someone like Paddy on board. Well, then he does give us that option we're talking about, where it's somebody that can open the door and give you something different. If he doesn't come in, well, then we we've got one or two others that we you know we would look at to try bringing.